Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, welcome. So today, we're doing a full face of Dollar Tree makeup. Now, usually on YouTube, we see these videos and it's mostly of like white girls or of a lighter skin tone. So I was just like, you know what, let me try and do this video with someone of my shade of a darker skin tone, okay? I'm going to try and see if any of... Sorry guys, it's the cow. <laughs> I'm going to try and see if any of these products that I purchased work for my skin color because let me tell you guys straight off the bat when I was in there it's a little bit difficult to find for my skin color so I can only imagine darker now I feel like it was a little bit difficult shopping sorry guys the cow <laughs> I live in the country I felt like it was a little bit difficult shopping for me so I can only imagine for people who have darker skin shades than me but we're gonna get into this video I'm so excited to do this video guys so I tried to buy as much as I can from the Dollar Tree that I was. I only went to one Dollar Tree and I tried to get a full face. Now they didn't have everything but I tried my best and I'm gonna make everything work in this video. Let's get into this video. So the first thing that I'm going to start off with obviously is the eyebrows. Now I got this LA Girl, I keep saying LA Girl, LA Colors brow pencil. You guys let me know down below if LA Colors and LA Girls like sister companies because the name is, is like very similar. This is how it looks. Now I got the color dark brown. I feel like I didn't actually go through all the colors but on the back of this it says that it has five colors. It comes in five different shades and that uh, you use the pencil to fill in your sparse areas and to and add definition um, you use brush to blend color and groom brows so that's what we're going to do oh yeah so in total I spent like $22 on everything yeah so usually on my eyebrows I use the benefit brow pencil precisely my brow the ultra fine tip in number four or I just buy my pencils from the beauty supply store comment down below like of this video if you do that too anyway so the brow pencil comes with a little brush on it so we're just gonna use it to brush up our eyebrows and I have my eyebrows done okay so that's a bonus they're a little bit growing back in but it's okay I'm just gonna see how this works okay so nothing's really showing usually with pencils like this you have to like rub it on your skin <laughs> a little bit because they're waxy and then they'll start showing there we go the benefit of that is that the eye the color is not really coming out dark as soon as you put it on as you guys can see like it's taken a while for the color to show up and I have to do a lot of strokes to just try and get the color to show so I really have to press down hard with this pencil just for color to show Woo! this is not really the greatest like can you guys see that like I, ha I have to be like and it hurts right and like nothing's really coming out and I never had to press so hard for a color to show in my life it's very waxy it's very hard okay, let me use back this brush again I feel like the brush is just taking off the color oh gosh, this is a little bit hard to work with but it's okay I can't really expect it I mean how much do I spend at the beauty supply store for these eyebrow pencils isn't it like a dollar fifty and they're decent and this is not showing not a thing what okay so this is garbage this is the most best I can do I feel like when we use a concealer, it should like give an illusion. Okay, so this is garbage. Garbage. Hopefully the concealer is going to make this look a little better. So this is also from Ellie Colors. So this is Buildable Coverage in Beige. Now, I feel like this was the darkest of the lightest that I could get for concealing. So it's supposed to be a creamy formula that glides on smoothly, even out skin tone, and improves skin's texture, minimize pores. I don't know about that, and I don't know about improving skin texture. Covers up brown spots, freckles, and blemishes, blends in a flash of soft, natural finish that lasts all day. And this is from Dollar Tree, so everything was $1.25, and we love that. Guys, I can't believe this was the darkest. When I went to that Dollar Tree, it was just like all like lighter colors. Guys, I also have a beauty supply store makeup tutorial. You guys can watch it if you're into this thing. I, a lot of us shop at the beauty supply store. No one really does like makeup tutorials with like beauty supply store stuff. And we know we buy some things there, like some makeup products there, like lip glosses and eyelashes. It comes out on a doe foot applicator, which is cute. I like that. One thing that I started doing recently is I started applying concealer like below my eyebrow and then I'll blend it upwards instead of like applying it right underneath and then I'm doomed, okay? But I haven't, at the top, I just put it right beside the top, which I shouldn't do because as you can see right here, there's just a lot of concealer right beside my brow. Okay, this is so see-through. This concealer is see-through. It's so white. Oh my gosh, buildable coverage wear. I really wanted all these products to work out, so I hope I find. Oh my god, I forgot to bring it down on my eyelid. 
I put it way too close. Now, this is what I was talking about. I put it way too close that, look, there's so much concealer at the front there. That's going to be hard for me to blend out everything now. So what, as I was saying is that I wanted all these products to work out and I only went to one Dollar Tree. I went to the one near me and that was it. Now I found some e.l.f. blending brushes, okay? So these ones are the loose dome shaped blending brushes for the eyelids and <laughs> for the eyelid and the crease. And when I saw these, I was like, yeah, I'm obviously getting these like e.l.f. of course. Without a doubt. The reason I got this was to get eyeshadow, but I'm going to use this for underneath the eye so I have to build the concealer around my eye brows just to sharpen the eyebrows a little bit more did I see concealer brush at Dollar Tree I feel like they would have I don't remember seeing because I would have picked up one because I love concealer brushes they're just so flat and perfect okay so that looks way better as you can see I had to use like a lot of layers with this and girl I'm using this under my eyes so <laughs> what are you gonna do I feel like when you're black and you have color to your skin I feel like you always have to be finessing makeup to work with your skin color which is so sad I remember when I was younger like I was in high school I said to my friend she's mixed I was like you know what I feel like some of these companies just don't want black people wearing their makeup and wearing their stuff because I don't know maybe they'll devalue their brand or something and my friend was like no like no like I honestly still think this to this day that I feel like some of these companies don't want black people wearing their stuff that's why they don't make shades for darker skin color but that friend was a little bit ditzy so I couldn't even have those type of conversations with her okay so that doesn't look too bad I knew that the concealer would like sharpen the eyebrow but let me, let's talk about this concealer it's very thin i'm not gonna say it's watery because it's not but it's thin and you can build it but it's still thin at the end of the day <laughs> so i'm just using the elf blending loose what is it loose stone shape blending brush the color is really really bright but it'll be great for using it as a primer for your eyelids for your eyeshadow okay like my eyebrows kind of look jacked up right now but once we put on the foundation it's gonna like not make it look so boxy and and uneven it's just like i had to sharpen the eyebrow we're gonna do eyeshadow but we're gonna prep the eyelashes so the lashes that i got was from ellie colors as well <laughs> and these are so so natural so like baby like so this is the ellie colors this is their dramatic lash line and this is in black 980 so they're very lightweight and usable of course these are synthetic fibers guys I haven't, I don't think I've ever worn lashes this thin before, even when I first started out in lashes. Maybe I have, I don't think so though. So we're going to prep it and I'm just using regular tweezers and I'm using regular eyelash glue. They have eyelash glue at the beauty supply store and oh my god I have it right now, you know. Let me tell you guys about it. Not the beauty supply store, from Dollar Tree. Let me tell you guys about this eyelash glue that I don't recommend any of you guys getting. So this is Billy Adhesive Eyelash Glue from the brand Billy. So I bought it and I used these eyelash glue on some nice lashes and like two seconds later my lashes were all lifting up and just coming off. This is not good at all. Like I don't even know why I still have this. I had this because I'm like, hey, what if one day I'm desperately in need glue? I'll probably use hair glue because this does not work. So if you guys see this brand at Dollar Tree, don't get it. Your eyelash is not going to stick at all. I put so much glue because at first I was like, okay, maybe, like, I don't know. Maybe I didn't put enough. I put so much and my eyelashes were still coming off. Like, the glue was, like, semi-dry and everything. I already know how to put on eyelashes. And they were coming off. Music. Okay, so obviously we're gonna have to set our eyelids. So I bought this LA girl LA colors again <laughs> This was I didn't even notice I picked up all these LA color products. I just grabbed I was like, oh, that's a powder I need one. Oh, that's a bronzer. I need one I just grabbed it. I didn't really look and I tried to find my shade and that was really it So this is the LA colors puff applicator pressed powder long-lasting wear and this is in the color nude So I'm gonna show you guys how it looks. So this was the dark under eye shade I was trying to look for a translucent powder and I couldn't now. This is not no puff this is do you know those things that you wrap like packages in and like mirrors like that fake yeah you don't want this i'm gonna go in with another elf brush i bought three elf blending brushes because i knew i was gonna use these go in with this color this packaging is so thin wow okay, this is really white oh and it comes with a mirror dab this in and i'm just gonna pat this in for eyeshadows i was just like I literally and genuinely wanted to pick up things that I knew I would use beyond even this makeup tutorial. So I was looking, I was like, I don't like that eyeshadow. They had a lot of eyeshadow quads and duos and single eyeshadows. And I was like, you know what? 
I don't like any of these colors. So I got this one, okay? So this is the Color Workshop Jewel Tones Eyeshadow. So this is like a glittery, pigmented eyeshadow, and it's like a goldish color. So I was like, oh, this would probably look good on me. So let me try and get that. Okay, first of all, ours are way too light. So let's go in with the contour. Oh, I'm gonna fill you guys in on how I feel about this, like the powder, once we do our under eyes, because setting powder, so I don't really have much thought. But you guys did see my thoughts on like the packaging. This is from Cosmic Colors. So this is the contour palette, they say. And it's not tested on animals nice and this is in the color 04 so i want to add some definition into my oh this is so small and cute eyelids it comes with these little applicators i don't know if people still use these because it might be better if you just use okay this is pigmented ish but it has a weird undertone like a peach undertone again dollar tree sell brushes so you can buy at least one blending brush you can apply the color with this and then we can blend it so as you can see there's pigment we're gonna go in with this and then we're just gonna blend a little bit okay like let me close my eyes like you guys can kind of see that color on my eyelids i might have to add more so it can show up on camera a little bit more now i don't really like buying small little eyeshadows like this because they're just so small and you'll get like, imagine having so many of these your whole room is going to be okay so this is beautiful and this is pretty it's like a peachy champagne like a pink champagne color so i'm gonna use my concealer brush let's see how pretty it'll look on the eye okay this is not bad I like this. This is not bad without it being wet. Oh, none of these powders had like dropout. I just noticed that. You know how like you put on some eyeshadows and it's like falling right there? Okay, so I'm gonna wet the concealer brush and I'm going to do the next eye and we'll see the difference. Kind of the same to be honest. Okay, so this works without any water. I would recommend. I'm gonna add this also into my inner tear duct, but that's gonna be later on. So let's put on the eyelashes now. <laughs> These are so beginner and cute. Eyelashes on. Why does I wear my own? <gasps> I forgot to put on mascara. <laughs> you know what? We'll save the mascara for my lower lashes. They're cute. They're cute. Don't you guys agree? I think they're cute. They look nice. Okay, so now we're gonna go in with liquid eyeliner from LA Colors. So this is in black. This should just be an LA Colors makeup tutorial, clearly. So this is their ultra fine tip for precise lining and control. Okay, and this is in the color black. Let's we'll shake it first. This is a bottle. Okay, not bad. It's not coming out like dry on the eye, like it's going on, it's gliding on great. And just with one stroke, you can do your whole entire eyelid. So this is a yay! So I like this. I like these two so far, but at the end of this video, we'll go over everything that I like and I don't like. What are hits, what are misses, and everything like that. So, so far, this is all for the eyes. Once I put on my foundation and everything, we'll go back in with finishing up with the eyes. So the inner tear ducts, the eyeliner, the lower lashes, add some more color at the bottom. So the next thing is... <sighs> foundation okay guys listen this was the darkest foundation that they had can you believe it let me know if you guys can believe this so this is Aeroposa liquid skin foundation I'm saying to shake well guys this was the darkest and i know this is not gonna fit me with my color right now and i was like you know what i'm gonna have to buy it because i have to show you guys this was the darkest that i was offering and there was so much foundation there like a lot and i was like how is this the darkest out of all of them like this doesn't make any sense i feel so bad i know what to do with this for it to work so it just says shake well it doesn't tell you if it's like full coverage if you can build it okay so this is like a dropper like look cover fx has nothing on us this is way too light for me as you guys can see so what i'm gonna have to do you know what i have a little blemish right here we didn't see if the concealer would cover it i don't think the concealer would because it literally looks transparent let me use my real techniques one Oh my gosh, this foundation is kind of see-through. When I mean see-through, I mean like it's super thin. It's liquidy and thin. So what I'm going to do is going to use this to highlight underneath my eyes. And then I'll go in with the powder just to contour. That's what I'm going to have to do. Imagine if you had acne or you just have a lot of like blemishes and you want... Or just if you want to wear foundation, you can't because this is the darkest. That's embarrassing. So this is garbage because I don't want this at all. I wouldn't recommend it to anyone. I'm going to use my Real Technique sponge and just pat this in. Oh wow, I'm going to have to finesse finesse this my real technique sponge is so soft the thing that i washed it with smells so good all this foundation is good at is making you casper white so that's a zero negative zero out of ten so what we're gonna go in with is powders so we're gonna go back in with this la colors powder now 
this is just going to emphasize how white foundation is so we're gonna add coverage and I'm gonna I'm using a brush that I got from where oh this is the elf blush brush but I use this underneath my eye because it's like tapered and it just fits perfectly right here so I use it under the eye so. so I put this all in my highlight points again this is super white now I feel like if you were like five shades lighter than me this could work now this doesn't have a scent there's no fallout there's no dropout it's not like super powdery like I would probably give this like a four out of ten it's not too bad like it's not horrible like the concealer okay so next is okay so we have this brown bronzer here oh we have the contour palette and then we have the bronzer so we're gonna go in both of them so this is cosmic colors not tested on animals we're gonna go in with this big huge brush we're gonna add color back into the skin because we are washed out completely <laughs> it's not bad so far this like color it's not too bad it's not like flaking everywhere I'm gonna have to bring this like all around here and trying to add I'm gonna have to bring this down so as you guys can see like I'm putting a lot of layers to just build the color I mean I've tried cake um, powdery eyeshadow palettes from the beauty supply store and this cosmic colors one is you have to use a lot of it to build it that's an annoying thing but again it's only a dollar 25 right it's okay we're gonna make this work like i'm not gonna add no powder whatever i have i'm just gonna go over it just to calm down like the brightness of it right this contour color powder actually saved my face this is the darkest color that they had at the dollar tree that i was at let me say that okay <sighs> that's all we can do right now so we're gonna go in with the la color bronzer so this one is in Bronze Beauty. So it's supposed to give you a sun-kissed looking skin. It has subtle shimmers. And it's supposed to brighten the skin and give an overall glow, okay? Let me just say this. I love this packaging. Now the reason why I like this packaging is just full pan. And it's very sleek in like thinness. With all of this. Ooh, this can be like a highlighter. Oh my gosh. I kind of put too much at the top of my forehead. Okay, this is pigmented. Okay, I'm gonna put some on my... This is pigmented, and then I'll put some up here. Oh my gosh, I have to blend this out properly. I use my Real Technique sponge to kind of calm this down. I like this. I would actually keep, keep this. Like for inner tear duct, if you want a pigment. And there's like minimal fallout, like barely any. Okay, cute. That's all we can work with for now. What's next? Oh, you know what? I actually bought a highlighter, but I don't think I'm going to need it. This is also from Cosmic Colors. This is their highlighter in number 03. This looks a little bit too light for me, but we're going to check it out. Because this bronzer basically was a highlighter. We can use on our inner tear ducts. How about that? I don't know what kind of highlighter this is. It looks like a powder. Yeah, no. I mean, we can wet it and see. No, it's the same thing. So what I'm going to do is go in with this. Go back with the eyeshadow color. And we're going to bring it in the inner tear duct. Just to brighten up the eyes. I'm going to use this Ellie Colors Wowie Classic Black Mascara. So it's a curved brush and it's supposed to lift your lashes. But since I should have used this actually on my upper because it's supposed to lift. But I'm going to use this on my lower because it's just small and cute. But we'll see the brush. So it's a curved brush. Lower lashes. Okay, why is nothing coming out? <laughs> okay, this is okay. Oh my god. <gasps> My face looks so like ashy and embarrassing. This was not a win-win, okay? This video was not a win-win at all. This is so embarrassing. Like all right here just looks so Casper white, ashy. I mean like in person it doesn't look as bad. But you guys can see it on camera. Like I tried to darken. Like wow man, this is actually such a fail. And this is why I wanted to do this video because I'm literally, I watch like so many like full face of this brand and this brand. It's all like of lighter skin tones people and then i was just like you know what like let's see how it works so i'm gonna give this ellie colors brow pencil one more chance even though the brown pencil i'm gonna line my lips and see if this is gonna work you know it's like you have to add so much pressure uh, i don't think this is working this is just wax like nothing is coming off what's the whole point of this okay the reason why i'm doing my face like this is because I literally have to press down. So we're going to go in with the e.l.f. Pout Perfector Glow Lip Gloss. or Oh, this is 
this is supposed to go over my lip gloss or lipstick that I'm going to be having. So let's try and see if I can film my entire lips at this. This is such trash. It's pretty though. I don't know if it'll look good on me. I need to like dab a little bit actually. I like this but I don't know how to use it. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys I give the mascara like a 2 out of 10. It sucked, man. I had to go inside of this like 20 times just to... And it all now... Just... Okay, so that is it for today's video, guys. It was a major fail. My face looks bad. It's really embarrassing. Instead of going through everything and telling you what I don't like and what I do like, I'm just going to tell you guys what I do kind of like and what I would recommend. So this one is the Cosmic Colors Contour Palette. Now, the only reason why I would say I like this is because of the pigment and it doesn't like, it's not too powdery, but it doesn't match my skin color. So like, I can't recommend this at all because it doesn't have a large shade range. Half of these don't have a large shade, shade range. I kind of like this because it kind of saved my face even though like, now another thing that I definitely liked was the LA Colors Bronzer. It, I didn't see it as a bronzer, but it could be, but I feel like it was more like a highlighter. It was more of a highlighter than this highlighter that I got from LA Colors that was super white and it was powdery and I don't know what kind of highlighter that was because even with water on it, I mean setting spray, it still wasn't. I didn't get no setting spray. I didn't see anyone at my Dollar Tree. It can work. I would probably give this like a 3 out of 10. This feels weird. This Elf Glow thing. It doesn't have a smell and I would recommend this actually. I'd probably give it like a, a 2 out of 10. I would recommend this. And out of all of them, this one actually... Oh no, no, out of these two. So this was the liquid liner and this was the eyeshadow. I would rate the eyeshadow like a 3 out of 10. Um, it was one of the better ones out of all of them. I wanted everything to work in this video. I'm going to be real honest. So this was the liner. This was the best thing out of everything. I'd probably give this a 4 out of 10 because it it's dark, it's black, it worked. Liquid liner and the eyelashes were like the main things that like did its job. Let me say that. Everything else was embarrassing and it doesn't work on darker skin tones. But these two are universal and will work on all skin tones. So that's really it for today's video. If you guys did like this video, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below. And let me know what you guys think. Oh, your thoughts and opinions. And subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Au revoir.